Hi. All right. Here's another haul from Tuesday morning, and then I stopped at the uh, Dollar Tree store. Tuesday morning, I like I say, I think that all Tuesday mornings, if I see the sale at mine, I think that all Tuesday mornings have basically the same sales. Uh, they're having like a manager's special or something where the tags are red, blue, green, or whatever. It's 20, 40, 60% off. So um, depending on what they have, you look and see uh, if, if they have more of a markdown. Here again, crepe paper, 6x6. Six six. It was $5.99. I got it for $2.99, and I think this is 40% off. Look at how pretty this paper is. This is another crate by crate. Crepe paper, sorry. 6x6. Six six. Got that one. Seven gypsies. $9.95 for $3.99. Look at how pretty this Looks like there might be six pages. Two double sided. Really, really bright, pretty colors for the spring, summer. I think pretty masculine kind of colors and designs. $3.99 for that. Tim Holtz tinsel. $1.99. It was $3.99. Hopefully, there's not too much glare. Here is a Hampton Art, $10 on sale for $2.99. And let's see if I can take this out. I know it's going to fall apart, but that's the uh, postcards. Those are always great to uh, do in journals and tags and stuff. Got that one for $2.99. Here's another one, Hampton Art. How cute this one is, and this is the birthday. And it's a uh, cute little, like a line with the balloon, celebrate happy birthday, hip hip hooray, it's your birthday today. And, uh, the you know, the uh, cupcake, but how cute this is, a little fish. There's two fish with, an, uh, with a balloon, which I thought was pretty cute. Got that one, and that was $2.99. And another seven gypsies, $11.95, marked down to $2.99. And I like this one because it has a fragile stamp, it has airmail, special delivery. Um, I guess this might be like a shipping label, I mean, you know, like an address label, shipping label. I thought it was pretty cool, you know, especially the fragile. You always always could, you know, stamp that on your envelope, you know, if you're going to mail it out. Eleven ninety five, let's say two ninety nine for this one. Seven gypsies, and then this one here. How cute this is! Four ninety nine on sale for a dollar forty nine. Stampalicious. Look at how cute. It says handmade because you're worth it. I thought that was so, so adorable for $1.49. I really like that one. See? Then I was ready to leave it. I'm looking through the stuff, and I there was two baskets full of um, dist, uh, Tim Holtz Distress Stickles, and um, they said it was two fifty. And I know that you can either get these for $2, $1.99, $1.29 if you're lucky, $0.99 cents at uh, Tuesday morning. They had a whole bunch of colors. I already have a lot of the colors, so I thought, well, I'm not going to grab too many of them because I bought the stamp sets and stuff. But, like I say, if my Tuesday morning has these, then your Tuesday morning has to have them, too, for $0.99. Cents. So it would be worth it to stop by your closest Tuesday morning and see what they have in the colors. They got a really good uh, selection at mine for $0.99 cents each. So you can't beat that. Then I had to stop at the... Um, Dollar Tree because I get I always get these uh, composition books and I ran out and I normally go to Walmart and I forgot how much Walmart charges but I was surprised when going to Dollar Tree ugh, it really was a dollar so I picked up three of these and they're always good to have on hand because these are a, a great uh, gift idea if it's like you want to make a fast gift you can go ahead and just uh, cover it with paper, embellish it, add tags, ribbons, bow, whatever, and you can give it as a nice uh, a gift uh, for uh, journaling, sketchbook, whatever, because uh, in one of my previous videos, uh, I used mine, my last one that I had, is I put the tabs and I took all my sentiments, and that's what I did. Sometimes, you know, you, you have your sentiment stamped, but sometimes you see a stamp, uh, set, sentiment and you write it down or whatever, and then you just paste it. So that's what I did, is that I just took all my sentiments, 
and I put it in this uh, composition book for me so it's a quick reference that if I don't have the sentiment stamp that I want to use or whatever I can uh, go to this and uh, look at my sentiments so I always try to keep a couple of these on hand just in case I have to make a fast gift or whatever so I picked those up the bigger ones and then I had to pick up the smaller ones and I bought three of these now they come three in a package and they are the four and a half by three and a quarter like I say, I think Walmart, they were like $1.47 or $1.87. Again, a dollar at the uh, Dollar Tree. And I guess you can tell that I really don't go to the Dollar Tree that often because I never thought that everything was a dollar, but apparently it was. So I picked these up because I wanted to make another one of these journals. And I will link my video uh, below to show how I actually made this. But this is the three composition books. And when you open it up, there it is. And this one is a lady's diary. But when you open it up, and there you go. And now you have yourself a nice little journal, diary, whatever you want to call it here. But, um, I won't go into detail because I've already did a I've already uh, done a video on how to make this, and like I say, I'll add the link below so you can see how easy it is. So leftover paper, it doesn't take a lot. Embellish it and stuff for a dollar. You can go ahead and make one of these. So I wanted to share that, and then also these plastic uh, bags. We're not bags. Maybe that's what they call them. Let me see button yeah button file bag that's what it's called a button file bag and they're three for a dollar they come in different colors and they're eight and a half by eleven and they're a dollar for three and I really like these because what I do with these is if I'm going to make a project and I know it's going to fit I will take all the embellishments that I know that the colors that I'm going to use and I'm going to put it in here and uh, if I'm not done with that project, I still have it all together so that I can work on it. I can put it away and work on it a little bit later. They only had two packages left, so I grabbed the last two packages. I saw them in um, red and blue and then the clear. So, uh, and I think that's what happened last time, like last year or something. I went, I, there was only one package or two packages left, and I bought those two packages. Now I went ahead and bought the last two packages. And like I say, what's nice about these is that, and they're pretty strong. Even if you want to go ahead and put your stamp sets or special and you know embellishments, um, I was even thinking you want to put your special uh, flowers in here, whatever you know, any kind of embellishments. So I wanted uh, to uh, pass that on too. That uh, these are great for storage, and um, to show you what you can make for a dollar and just add your own little embellishments and stuff. And, uh, like I say, too, in the video, uh, what I did is I had my grandsons come over just to do a little project with them to kind of keep them busy because they're getting older now. But I gave them each one of these books, had them cover it the way they wanted, whatever paper. I made a couple of tabs, but they use these for their uh, passwords because they have so many passwords for their games and um, for their websites that they belong to, like that Minecraft or whatever they play, um, that each one of them got their own little book. And I told them to keep it in a safe place. So this is kind of for them. And plus two, I do make these, uh, just cover them, uh, just basic you know, paper, add a tab, maybe add a ribbon, and these are perfect gifts also to give to the ladies uh, to go ahead and put in their purses just so that they can have a little bit of uh, some kind of paper or whatever if they need to, to write something on, um, just a quick note or whatever. So these are a great buy, three for a dollar, and they make such great gifts. So I just wanted to pass all that little stuff on in my great haul again from Tuesday morning. I cannot believe that, you know, like I say, you can get your stickles for 99 cents. I mean, even if you went online and bought these for 99 cents, you still have to pay for the shipping. So check out your Tuesday morning. You'd be surprised. You might, you might get some good deals. So thanks for watching. Bye.